I tell you, there's nothing like the serenity of a bonfire on a cool fall evening. Big play Saturday on TBS. Texas Tech for Oklahoma. Crazy game. Uh, that's Kyler. He won a contest here on TBS. Big voice on campus and one of his prizes. He gets to come for the weekend to the big game house. I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about that. I am really pumped up about Texas Tech playing Oklahoma tonight, though. The winner wins the Big 12 South and plays Colorado two weeks from now for the Big 12 championship. I'll be back at halftime with um, Kyler. But right now, let's head to Norman, Oklahoma. Gun for Buffalo. Problem is, there aren't any hereabouts. That lands easy prey. Only by standing together are you going to be able to beat the Lahoods of the world. have seen seven national titles come their way. They still have hope for number eight. But it all starts tonight in a battle with Texas Tech for the Big 12 South title and a berth in the conference championship game. And we welcome you to Big Play Saturday. Presented by Discover Card and T-Mobile. It is arguably the biggest game in the history of Texas Tech football, but their worst cut out for them. Tonight in Norman before the 24th consecutive sellout, number 24, Texas Tech takes on the fourth rank Oklahoma Sooners. This is what they are playing for two weeks from today. It's the Big 12 championship game down in Houston. Colorado is already there and the winner of this game. Ten. First and goal, they are in the red zone. Jones in a tailback, the big bumper. Smith in motion, they keep it on the ground, straight ahead running. It's Jones! Touchdown away from the freshman touchdown record. That's number 12 on the year. Look at that, Mike Skinner, number 75. The hole was open so well that when he got into it, there was really no one for him to block. By the time Ryan Acock, number 28 from Texas Tech, got to Kewan Jones, his momentum was already carrying him towards the end zone. Boy, this redshirt freshman out of Jenks, Oklahoma, up around Tulsa, has been so impressive this year. But more impressive is, was that drive, and we can see Lawrence Flugence going off limping. We'll get an update on his condition. That would be a huge loss if the senior from Klein, Texas, can't come back in. Heart and soul of Texas Tech's defense, 174 tackles on the season coming into tonight. Had 15 tackles versus Texas last week. Trey to Carlos set for the extra point for Oklahoma. takes the opening kickoff. It takes less than five minutes, and they put the first seven on the board. Get on the first series, a little motion. Lugens is out for Texas Tech. Norman is in at the middle linebacker spot. Keep it on the ground. Griffin dumps the tackle. Look out! To the 30! To the 10! Touchback! Touchdown, Oklahoma! This year for Griffin. Set up for him was the first series. When Oklahoma came out, spread formation, threw the football the first couple of plays. 
Let Texas Tech know that they're going to be a little wide open. They came out, showed the same look. This time ran it inside, a couple of key blocks, and then some great balance. And 62 yards later, you have six points. Watch, because Quentin Griffin's a little guy. He's not supposed to be able to run inside. Let's put, let's put that myth to rest right now. He runs inside, gets a couple key blocks. Notice how he keeps his balance. Slips out of one tackle. Nice cut inside on Vincent Meeks, the freshman free safety, who was a running back a few weeks ago. Now watch how he uses his speed, tempers himself, goes right inside of Joselio Hansen for the final flat on a couple of yards. And Quentin Griffin, yes, he can go long distance, folks. The Tulsa game was the season opener mm -hmm. with well over 200 yards that game against Texas, over 200 yards in that game. This guy can move it. Seven of eight of the longest runs in his career have come this year. He already has 79 yards rushing. He's going after seven consecutive 100 yards. And what you have to like about Quentin Griffin is he plays big in big games. Absolutely. You see a number of guys rack up a lot of yards against the, you know, some of the weaker teams on their schedule. Quentin Griffin, over 200 against Texas. That should tell you all you need to know about him right now. It's going to tee off on Kingsbury. They're showing it. They may drop off on this one, and they do. Well, they bring three. He's very still. Has some time. Plenty of time looking. Plenty of time. My goodness. Now he's in trouble, and he is going to be dropped. Jimmy Wilkerson. You would think the senior quarterback would know better and throw the football away. Kingsbury was not able to do it. This is the ultimate coverage sack. How long does Cliff Kingsbury have to find someone? We saw the tail end there where Jimmy Wilkerson ends up getting the safety for Oklahoma. But the secondary coverage was incredible. Great call by Mike Stoops and Brent Venables. The play before, they showed they showed dropping seven. Instead, they blitz. This time, they showed blitz, drop seven, and the coverage was all over everyone. Find someone open. Who's open? See Mitchell, number 10. He's covering someone right there. There's Bassey, 13. Who's open? There is no one open. Nowhere for Cliff Kingsbury to go with the football. That is. I think they just run it, run it, run it, trying to get it in. 11th play of the drive. To the goal line. Touchdown, Oklahoma. E1 Jones. Touchdowns on the year ties a freshman record for touchdowns held by Marcus Dupree and Buddy Lee. His second of the evening. Any touchdown that you give up hurts, but when a team drives it down the field mm -hmm. without throwing a pass, as a penalty flag comes down after the kick. But Kiwan Jones going over that left side, stretching over, and the Sooners lead it. out and make Texas Tech punt from deep in their end zone unless Cliff Kingsbury can get a first down here. Sooners bring four. Kingsbury sees pressure. Penalty flag is thrown. Throws it away. Almost intercepted. Was it holding they in the end it's zone? It's going to be holding in the end zone. Brandon Shelby looks like he was being held and that's going to be a safety well, if it is. If it's holding in the end zone, they can call the safety here. Let's see if they do. Second safety of the night if it is. On the offense, he's also the safety. And it is. Well, that reaction by Mike Leach tells it all. A lot of frustration at this point. This is not how his offense is supposed to work. Take a look at Cliff Kingsbury. In the shotgun formation. Look to the right of your screen. Number 65 as Casey Keck, the offensive tackle. He's caught with the he was spotted holding as Cliff Kingsbury's in the end zone. Automatic safety, which means now Texas Tech must punt again or kick off from the 20-yard line. Oklahoma will get the ball one more time before the half ends in great field position. Let's see how this thing turns out. That's frustration on the part of <laughs> Hey, look at that. 10 rushing yards. <laughs> 
That's right. I mean, that's just not going to get it done. No, it that's isn't. going to be 10 rushes, two yards total. Last play of the half. Hibble throws it the length of the field. Tipped up. Almost caught by the Sooners. Peoples had a shot at it. Could not put the gloves. And Texas Tech will head to the locker room. A disappointing 30 minutes, but this was close, Charles. And it's exactly what you're taught and, and, and what you don't want to happen if you're Texas Tech. If you go up for the ball, you have to bat it down or come down with it. Here's Craig Seger with Bob Stoops. Well, Coach, you know, obviously Texas Tech's a good come from behind team. How important was it to try to get more points on the board? Come from behind team or not, isn't that what you're supposed to do on offense? Try and get more points on the board? So that's all we were trying to do. But the way you're, we, we plan on playing the second half also. The way your defense is playing, they had seven possessions, only three first downs. You have three sacks, two safeties. Why have they been so su successful against Texas Tech? Uh, we're executing. Uh, we're getting good pressure to the quarterback, and, and we're covering well, tackling well. Hopefully that's, that's what we're after the second half. We'll need to. Uh, thanks a lot. Tremendous defense by OU. 25 to nothing, two safeties. They have the lead over Texas Tech. Now let's go to EJ and the big game house. All right, had nowhere to go with the ball. Another sack for Tech with Oklahoma. It put his block. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Peoples with a touchdown. Brandon Shelby with a block. Peoples, the recipient, and the Sooners hang six more on the board. Watch where Brandon Shelby goes for the block point. Excellent job because he's well coached. He doesn't go right for the punter. He goes for the point. He knows how many steps that Great House takes. Goes to that spot, blocks the ball, and Will Peoples, who we saw emerge this year when we were here for the South Florida game, adds yeah. another touchdown, this time on special teams. First punt blocked on Clinton Greathouse this year. One more look at it again, Charles. Yep. Right to the block point, six more points for the Oklahoma Sooners. And they're dominating this game in Norman. Johnson, you know, I'm not going right. to demand the ball. I just try and blow people up blocking. Over the top, touchdown, Oklahoma. touchdown and the senior adds another six to his records Woo! how about 163 yards averaging just over seven yards a carry what a night for Quentin Griffin and the extra point is good Great surge by the offensive line. Blue Jets can't make the stop. Space. And right now, this Texas Tech offense is lost in space. Second down and six. Kingsbury's pass. Intercepted. Derek Strait. Interceptions on the year for straight. Once again off a tipped pass. Last game out against Baylor, two interceptions, one return for a touchdown. He was the guy victimized against Texas A&M for two big touchdowns. He's bounced back in a big way. His third interception in the last two weeks. Oklahoma's dominated. 39-0 the Sooners over the Red Raiders. Our first and ten line is brought to you by Home Depot. And Oklahoma takes over on the 44-yard line in Texas Tech territory. Here comes the reverse. Running room. Fagan cuts inside to the ten. To the five. How about... 39 yards on the reverse. Sometimes it's the block you don't make 
that's key right there. You saw number 60, Wes Sims. He could have thrown a block, but he didn't because if he had, it would have been a clip in the back. He pulled off and let, Ke and let Fagan, Curtis Fagan, use his athletic ability to make the play. Otherwise, that ball's coming back. Big penalty. Great job by Wes Sims recognizing mm -hmm. and not making the play. First and goal from the five. Kiwan Jones gets down to about the four. Well, Bob Stoops told us yesterday that his team, when it comes time to big games, they get up for big games. No argument here. <laughs> no argument at all, Coach. <laughs> I'd say, I'd say that that, that case yeah. <laughs> has been has been resolved, hasn't it? Case, case dismissed. Closed. Case closed. <laughs> I'm pretty impressed that he's got short sleeves on. It's cold. Yeah, he's, he's a lot tougher. Than he's, I a, am. he's a Youngstown guy, though. Yeah, you know, this, you know those Ohio guys. That's right. Second, Plus, second down and goal from the four. Griffin looking for a block. Gets it. Cuts in. Pater. State replay. If you look at our all from our all state camera on the goal post behind the play, blocking was simple. And again, slips through the tackle. Quentin Griffin into the end zone for the third time tonight. Mama Barbara, got to be very happy. I would say so. We want to thank all state for providing tonight's goal post cam. You're in good hands with all state. Extra point by DeCarlo splits the uprights. Now, Quentin Griffin, one of the few seniors on this Oklahoma team in this week's installment of Home Depot. <laughs> and he ran down the official after the Iowa yeah. game. I think he locked it down. I think he did. <laughs> I think he's 4-3 on that. No one's going to beat him in the 17 overs. It will complete to Clayton. Inside the 10 to the 5. Looks for the pylon. He's out of bounds at the 3. 27 yards on the catch by Clayton. Nice simple pass, but an excellent move by Mark Clayton. Look at that. Breaks it back to the outside. Shakes off the tackle before Raymond Pierce is able to force him out of bounds. He steps out before he can get the ball to the pylon. But Mark Clayton back healthy again after yep. midseason. But at the same time, I think his chances are good at playing in the next, on the next level. Third down. Dibble keeps it, throws in the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. The senior out of Clinton, Oklahoma, his second touchdown of the year. We'll talk about records. He's now one touchdown reception away from Keith Jackson, the great former tight end here at Oklahoma's record of 14 career touchdown receptions. And I'm not sure that they had that thought in mind. But remember what I said earlier about getting seniors touches as they go out here? Mm -hmm. Kewan Jones is a freshman. Sure, a freshman record is nice. But on senior night, who do you honor? You honor the seniors. Trent Smith, one of the best players at Oklahoma to play his position. They're winning big. So be it. Yep. I mean, there's, there, is a, there is a nice code among the coaches for some sportsmanship. You know, they've, some of the coaches wanted a timeout. No, Thompson's going to throw it. Puts it up. End zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Brandon Jones. You know, based on my comments, people could say, as we take a look here at Paul Thompson, Throwing the touchdown pass. Nice in move, in move by Brandon Jones moving back out to the pylon. An excellent catch. And you see Bob Stoops happy to see good execution. A lot of people would think that what I was saying was if he didn't run the ball, it wouldn't be good sports. But that's not the case at all. Yeah. It's just it's just right now I go back to what I said before. You got a young kid in the game. You got to get him experience. It's not a matter of running it up. It's a matter of him getting game experience. In situations off to play for all throughout his career. And Oklahoma is truly rolling. 
I think Coach Stoops has to be very pleased, but, you know, we've known Coach Stoops for a long time. I know tomorrow morning he's going to have one thing on his mind. It's going to be Bedlam. It's going to be Orange. It's going to be the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Yes, because last year the loss to Oklahoma State prevented them from appearing in the Big 12 title game and potentially in the national championship game. Oh, they missed them. Oh, thank goodness. That's I, I got to admit, I am, I am ready for everybody to quit pouring stuff on their I coaches. Know. It's, it's just like a wave. What's, <laughs> how you know? long, it's making it illegal. The wave and throwing Gatorade or anything on a coach. Can we bring back just carrying them off the field? I like, I like that. that. That's a good thing. But quit dumping stuff on them in this weather. <laughs> and that's going to do it. The Sooners are the champions of the Big 12 South Division. And on December 7th, and they finally did get them. They called in the reserves. <laughs> They're going to play Colorado for the Big 12 championship. We're in Lions Stadium in Houston. Oklahoma very impressive tonight, 60 to 15. It started in the first quarter, and it just kept snowballing after that. The Oklahoma Sooners going to 10 and 1 on the year, 6 and 1 in the conference. Texas Tech ends up the regular season, 8 and 5, 5 and 3 in the conference. He thought he was safe until. Oh, no. Yes. No. Oh. At first, you don't succeed. Yeah, he's not happy. Well, someone will run for that. Somebody's going to run for that. <laughs> Somebody's going to run. Now, Cliff Kingsbury ends up his regular season Where's collegiate you? career. He has been outstanding, the most prolific passer in the history of this conference. Getting congratulations from Chuck Long. Those records are going to stand an awful long time. Quinn Griffin was the man of the hour, and he's with our Craig Sager. Well, senior night, what a way to celebrate. Three touchdowns, over 200 yards. Why are you guys so successful against Tech? Uh, you know, we had a good game plan. Coaches had a good game plan for us. Uh, we, uh, we executed offensively, and the defense played a great game. And uh, it was just nice to come out and, you know, for the seniors to win the last game. It was senior night. You mentioned the game plan. Andre Wolfolk, obviously, you know Mike Leach. In fact, you were a receiver for him a couple of years ago. What did you guys do to prepare, and how did you able to keep Cliff off the field. Uh, we, basically, we had to be relentless to the ball. Uh, we know they like to throw the ball everywhere, and we just had to gang tackle everybody, uh, make sure they didn't get yards after the catch. All right, obviously, the front four, and obviously the linebackers put a lot of pressure, but Charles Davis, being a former secondary guy, wants to know how many different looks you guys gave them. Uh, we, we, we shifted up uh, our defenses a lot and rotated, make sure they didn't know what defense we were running before the play started, and I think it gave them a little trouble here at the beginning. You guys look very good today, obviously. You've looked good all year. One mess up against Texas A&M. What are your thoughts on the games today and the fact that you still have a chance to play for a national championship? Uh, we don't worry too much about that. We're just setting our own destino uh, destiny for a Big 12 championship, and that's where it all takes place. What about Oklahoma State? Uh, they're next on the list, so we got uh, got to go try to get a win up there in Stillwater. Well, terrific job today. Thank you. Let's go back upstairs. To